So this is just my reminder to you that you should be writing all of this down, especially if you have not printed these notes. You need to have something to refer to when you revise for your exams and your tests. So let's look at questions one, two, and three. For each of those, can you find the degree and the leading coefficient? So we said that we were interested in whether or not the degree was odd or even. We see here in number one, we have an even degree. And we see that we have a negative leading coefficient. Do you remember what that means? When we have an even degree with a negative leading coefficient, we know that both ends are going to fall. So we say that this is going to fall on the left and fall on the right. In fact, we would say for absolute powers, or sorry, for the powers of the absolute value of x, that this represents the power function of negative 6x squared. It's just using that leading term. In question two, we have an odd degree with a positive leading coefficient. What does this mean for our end behaviors? We remember that we need to think about the graph of x cubed where the graph falls on the left and rises on the right. So thinking about y equals x cubed, we know that the, the end will fall on the left and rise on the right. And in fact, it behaves like the graph of y equals 8 times x to the power of 5. Can you find the end behaviors for question 3? So this was a graph, <clears throat> sorry, a function of even degree with a positive leading coefficient. So we were thinking about the graph of y equals x cubed, I mean x squared, and we see that both ends will rise. It will rise on the left and rise on the right. And it behaves like the power function of y equals 7 times x to the power of 8. Now, when we look at the h of x, we see that, that it is not expanded. There is still multiplication. So we don't have our polynomial function in standard form. Can you determine the degree and the leading coefficient for this function? I see that I have x to the power of 1. That will multiply x cubed. That will multiply x to the power of 5. This gives me a degree of 9, which is odd. It has a leading coefficient of negative 2, multiplying 1x cubed, my multiplying 1x to the power of 5. So my leading coefficient is negative 2 negative. When we have a function of odd degree with a negative leading coefficient, we think about the graph of y equals negative x cubed, which is rising on the left and falling on the right. This one is going to behave like that power function of y equals negative 2 times x to the power of 9. Question 5, find the degree, the leading coefficient, and the end behaviors. I hope you were able to see that this has a degree of 7 by taking that x to the power of 4. Opening these brackets would give me an x squared. This one would give me x to the power of 1. And of course, that negative 7 is going to multiply the 1 
leading coefficient in front of each of those powers of x. The end behaviors here, just like the graph of y equals negative x cubed, means they will rise on the left and fall on the right. Finish up with question six. In our final example, we again have a function of odd degree with a negative leading coefficient. We have this negative sign out here giving us negative one. That would multiply a positive x squared and a positive x. So again, the ends rise on the left, fall on the right. Remember that you can use the homework assignments in Pearson to practice questions before you do the quizzes that are for marks.